Hello friends, today we are going to assemble a powerful robot that can be controlled from practically any smartphone. Look, it has this large chassis. It will be controlled with the help of this circuit board, Wi-Fi ESP8266 mod. It comes with a shield. This comes out. There are two motors and it can be controlled using servo actuators. Apart from this controller circuit board, there are also two motors with reducers and some wires with a special connector for them. These are the elements of the machine. Here is the compartment for two batteries, and here we have a whole bunch of different nuts and bolts. By the way, if you don't like the gold color, you can buy this model in a silver color. Let's start by constructing the support wheels. You will need 10 of these. To assemble them, use a 17 mm screw. By the way, the set comes with these little screwdrivers. It's very convenient. Oops, looks like these bearings only work on one side of the wheel. Look, on this side it doesn't go in the hole, and on this side it does. This is what it's supposed to look like. It rotates well because of the bearings. We will need 10 of these. When these wheels do the same, you will have two identical pieces. So, this is what we get. Here is where the motor shaft will go. Now let's assemble the body of the robot. Here you can see that this hole is for a G90 servo actuator, and this bigger one is for the MG995, for example. They don't come in the set, but you can buy them separately and program them. I've always thought that aluminum was a light material, but these pieces are quite heavy. I'm curious to find out how this robot with these motors will be able to move around. Now let's attach the motor. How? We have two options, either like this or like this. I think we should do it like this, with this part for the pin connector facing the back. Now let's attach these wheels. This is probably the most difficult attachment I've had to do. And here it's starting to look like something. Now let's attach these components. Here I've screwed on four wheels on one side. The last one, if you can see, has an oval hole. This is to regulate the length of the chassis. Look at this monster. I can't call it by any other name. You can adjust the length of the chassis by pulling this metal piece out. This makes the chassis come apart. I've placed the wheel as far to the left as it could thanks to the oval hole. See? Now you need to take out the small metal piece here. To do so, I used a small wire and some pliers. Take it out. First, attach it here, then here. Now do this. Loosen it up, pull it in, and then fix it into place. Use your finger to hold it in place. 
This isn't very easy, but we don't have another choice. Now, take the Wi-Fi module out of the shield. I don't think it's necessary, but let's do it anyway. Six wires go into the motor here and are the red and black. There are only four inputs for the two motors. Here's where we will put A minus, A plus, B minus, B plus. Why did they do it like this? Who knows? The standard way to attach this shield to this frame is by using these M3 screws, 15 to 17 millimeter diameter. We must remember that if we just attach the board straight to the frame, we'll short out all the outputs because this is aluminum. Do not do this. Use extensions like these little copper ones. And this is what we get. I've already connected everything and I hid these wires underneath. Take the Wi-Fi module and connect it to a computer. Follow the link in the description to download the program Flash Download to get the installer and the files. Choose COM port and click Start. I've entered this application and have pressed the local mode option. Here's the app. I think the screen is too bright. This is what the app looks like. You can limit the power of the robot by moving this slider, if your fingers are small enough. If not, you can move it with these buttons. This is a very powerful chassis and can move around quickly. I've put some obstacles in its path. Let's see how it handles them. Look how big it is! It's so big for a remote control robot. I want to take it outside and see how it handles roots and jumps. I'll definitely show you the results. You can also control this robot through the internet. If you put cameras around your room or apartment, they can transfer a signal back to you and you could control the robot off your smartphone from anywhere in the world. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe to the channel. There will be many more interesting projects. See you soon!